What's going on guys? My name is Christopher and welcome to It's Complicated, the show where I talk about and showcase wristwatches. So if you love wristwatches like I do, you're going to want to subscribe to the show. Today we're doing cool watches in film, specifically the film Leaving Las Vegas starring Nicolas Cage and the watch, the Rolex Daytona. Here we go. One of my all-time favorite films is Leaving Las Vegas. It's a genuinely fucked up movie and I highly recommend you go check it out if you haven't seen it. But the main character, Ben Sanderson, played by Nicolas Cage, was wearing a Rolex Daytona. It's a nice watch. You do like it? Yes. This was the 16520, all stainless, 40 mil case. He had the white dial, sapphire glass, automatic movement Rolex 4030, which was actually a heavily modified Zenith movement. These are known as the Zenith Daytonas, but these were automatic where the older Daytonas were a smaller case size and a manual wind. But what an absolutely stunning piece this is. And of course, you have the scene in the film where he goes into a pawn shop to sell the watch. $500 for a 93 Rolex Daytona. I'll do it. I'm not sure what the secondhand market was in 1995 when this movie came out for one of those Daytonas, but I bet you it was a lot more than 500 bucks. I would guess 5,000, maybe four and a half secondhand back then. Right now on Chrono 24, that same reference number with the white dial and everything is actually selling anywhere between 20,000 and 40,000 US dollars. Rolex Daytonas are always extremely hot. They hold their value extremely well. One of the best watches you could buy if you were hoping that, okay, I just don't wanna lose money. What can I buy right now and probably have my money be safe? Probably a Daytona, especially an older Daytona if you know what you're doing. Interesting side note, during filming, Cage found out that he actually wore the same watch and drove the exact same BMW as the author John O'Brien, who wrote the book that the movie is based on. So that's actually Cage's Rolex Daytona. And it makes you wonder if Nick Cage even still owns that watch, because you know now if he wanted to, he can get a lot more than 500 bucks for it. And another thing I find interesting is that in the movie Leaving Las Vegas, Nick Cage's character was allowed by Rolex to say their brand by name instead of just wear the watch. Where five years later, in the movie American Psycho, Christian Bale's character was not allowed to say Rolex's name. And yeah, Christian Bale's character in American Psycho was a psycho, so you could see why Rolex would want to distance themselves from him. But Nick Cage's character in Leaving Las Vegas was almost as despicable. So it makes you wonder what changed in those five years? Is it possible leaving Las Vegas got away with something? Was there some kind of shift somewhere? If you guys know, let me know in the comments. And that wraps it up for another episode of It's Complicated. Don't forget to subscribe to the show, like the video, share it with your friends, still uploading two times a week. And I'll see you next time on another episode of It's Complicated.